was just like, let me be a fool. Oh, the VV Samus. Three, two, oh, yes. One, I believe we were talking about this. In, in a continued effort to thwart John Numbers. Samus is apparently the uh, answer here. Next on the chopping block, next to try out... Samus. Samus. Vivi was also considering Corrin as well, so... <laughs> Very funny. But no, Vivi made a tweet the other day saying, I played Samus for four hours straight. Yes, I saw. Oof. So I guess Vivi's being real serious about this one. I mean, I think this uh, this character can definitely fit uh, Vivi's like play style. You know, he's uh, their charge character, uh, like has good uh, like range control, and so like he can he can just like stay back and just like kind of set up for what he wants, which is kind of like what he does with like the way Lucario like threatens space. Somewhat, but Lucario threatens space by being fast. Samus just threatens space by. By covering by it. By throwing a bunch of projectiles yeah. at you. Yeah. It, it's like the same. It, it's Samus is definitely different I think, from all the characters. VB's, I think it's uh, similar enough. VB's uh, put his hands on. Like, VB is known to play Hero, Joker, Lucario, Terry, and Incineroar. Samus. Samus doesn't really fit any of those archetypes. This is a brand new experience for VB and his sixth new character. But Pred will be taking first blood with Sheik. And, and not Petra, surprisingly. Right, why did you not go Sheik versus me? I would have loved... I know that character better. He wanted to play transforming characters against you. Yeah. But yeah. now we have the formerly transforming characters fighting each other. <laughs> Anyone remember that from Brawl? Uh, the previous VOD is done, right? I can update the information? Yes. Okay. Don't forget to add yourself to the uh, commentator's tweet. Yeah. That's right. You're a commentator now. And a TO. I don't know about that. I still have the picture, Devin. You can't prove it. I'd like to see you try. Oh, my God. Anyway, Pret taking stock one. Um, Boom. Maybe going to blast their way to the, ne the next stock <laughs> to even it up. If you get hit by that thing, you can kiss your butt goodbye. And yeah. that's why Snake doesn't have an ass in this game. Oh, no. Anyway, Vivi really is serious about Samus. I am interested to see how far he goes with this. How well he performs and how, how long he keeps it up, if forever. All right. Uh, yeah, truthfully, I don't really know too much about this character to like really kind of like break anything down. Samus will charge shot in your face and yeah. then predict what you're going to do to avoid it and cover it, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, Vivi's uh, just kind of like baiting movement, just staying uh, still and just trying to like react or, or read uh, how Pred is going to come in. Saw that like that uh, trap on the roll Boom. with uh, down tilt. What a powerful sound effect that is. Just treating Samus kind of like oh. a brick wall and handing over the kill by saying, let me land right into the strong hit. Honestly, sometimes the best mix-up is no mix-up, Devin. Yeah, the no mix-up mix-up. Oh, wow. Catches. Was that ledge sand? I think so, yeah. It didn't look very invincible. Uh, well, uh, it went, uh, what was it? It went past Cheek for the most part, but it was at the end of it. I guess so. And like we've seen DV do that uh, with Lucario, so this is something that he's definitely... Uh, like trained to do, where it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna like cover the entire bulk of your getup, and like the the tail end of it is going to end up hitting you. Yeah, but he's working with a bigger shot when he's playing Lucario. <laughs> this is true, but like we've seen it uh, at a relatively like Samus charge that size as, as well. No, I understand. Something yeah. to keep in mind though is it does travel faster than Orosphere, so. Yes. Oh, that is true. That does make it a lot tighter. Yes. Regardless, we're on last stock for both of them. Uh. It's taken a while. <laughs> I mean, new character. If you're gonna struggle, if you're having a problem like approaching, and a character like Samus, you know, a zoner who's gonna kind of just kind of cover the space uh, immediately around her. Yeah, especially uh, against Sheik, who's pretty good at getting out of the way of those lanes too. Yeah. So you know, Pret's trying to take it slow, trying to find out, find a way in. 
Uh, might not have the most experience versus Samus. Oh my! Ooh, what the drag down. The drag down, but it doesn't kill because Sheik just can't kill in those games. Yeah. Oh. I've noticed Vivi hasn't grabbed very much with Samus either. I feel like learning to use tether grabs is like horrifying. Yes. Yeah, you just don't want to do it. You got to do it sometimes, though. Eventually, but let's get confident with everything else, right? Where's the grab? What happens here? Oh. Hold it up. That forward air is so good at catching jumps. It is. It's huge. It's active. It's disjointed. It does everything you want in an in, in an air tear. Yeah. Oh my! Wow. Is that really gonna do it? What is this melee? Smash two. Let's see. That wasn't like. That was true. Oh, it was landing yeah. the, uh, needles. Oh, that yeah. makes way more sense. I did not catch that. They've been, for they've sure. been progressively reducing the uh, landing lag on air needles more and more, and now Sheik just has these horrifying converns if she gets you. Yeah, these little point-blank ones. Um, I think we saw, uh, yep, character swap. From Understandable. Uh, VV going to be switching it out. Um, you know, just try Samus for the first time, see how far uh, she fares, and then... If it works, cool. If it doesn't, you know, not trying to lose the set. Go to, but, all, go to all reliable. Yep. And now Pret also going to be switching to Mithra. Yeah, so but that also means Pret switched first, which means he must not have liked uh, how Sheik went over. Honestly, uh, maybe maybe Pret was also trying Sheik as, like, a new character? I think Pret's played Sheik before. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't either. I yeah. forget. I feel like I've seen Pret's Sheik. Regardless. Game two, completely oh. new matchup, but we're staying on the same stage. Hero's got that camouflage on. He's green, just like the stage. Yeah, invisible. <laughs> that was a kill. Oh, my God. DIA. That move is so active. It is. And it got the kill because he was holding in because it was just running forward. All right, Vivi's hero is glowing like a Christmas tree right now. I feel the uh, disadvantaged Pyra is a little too premature here. He's only at 32 after all. Now, as we saw from the last time we I, Pret played, uh, Pret is another player who doesn't seem to want to play uh, Pyra at all in neutral. He's been saving Pyra. He's been saving Pyra exclusively for uh, disadvantaged situations. The opponent. To be fair, I kind of think that's what you should do. It is, but some people do like to pull out the Pyra in neutral because it's like, ah, I might get the kill. Vivi gets the zoom, very nice. Yeah, I think this character, I think Pyra kind of sucks. <laughs> she does kind of suck, but she yeah. has that fear factor. Yeah, I, It's the same as Charizard. I, like, someone else did all the legwork of getting you to kill percent, and now... Anyway. Uh, yeah, so Vivi kind of... Good yep, catch. Not no kill. Get, not going to kill. Man, yeah. it's almost like... It, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like you shouldn't be Fifth. starting PS2. I mean, when you're switching up the characters, it's just like, I guess, you know, this is like, this is game one, two. I suppose so. You know? Prominence Revolt. Uh, down throw. Fo yeah, that can be that can be true. And here we go. What happens here? Yeah, I mean, Vivi's just respecting <laughs> the space that Pyra covers, and Pyra's just struggling to get the swing out. It's like, yeah, I understand that Vivi is at 140, and we're finally going to see the kill. But, you know, it, it took another stock to make that happen. So now we have a full stock lead from Vivi. Um, I kind of think it would have just been better to just, like, kind of just stick with, like, a, a, you know, a more passive game plan. Stay Mithra. Try and get what you can, you know. Uh, Vivi, oh obviously, God. a very good player. So, you know, honestly, you're going to have to take a lot of uh, notes to, like, figure out the pattern of not only the character, but how, uh, how Vivi's driving that character. Hilarious. Too little, too late, though. You said that Foresight is frame two air, air dodge, right? Yes. How does that work on a roll? Is Same thing. Okay. Frame two is what I've heard, anyway. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see what kind of uh, adaptation we can see. <laughs> Far as like, oh, God, Mithra, get, take care of this one. All right. Baby takes game two, and we've got a 1-1 situation. Yes, we do. 
I think this is very funny right here. It's just like, oh man, I gotta get out of here. I gotta swap. Boom! Oh God, why? Why, Pyro? Why have you done this to me? All right. So, uh, BB's bands were Battlefield and Smashville, and the counter pick is going to be Small Battlefield. Also understandable. Uh, by Pret. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, Small Battlefield actually is a pretty decent stage for uh, Pythra. It kind of just like covers so much space with uh, like all those large swings. Hollow Bastion would have been also a good choice too. Um, yeah, yeah. So now it looks like. They're uh, sticking with Hero, and Pret might be sticking with. Uh, Pret is going back. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. Pret wants song. the music. That was Vivi's choice. Vivi's the one who usually picks King of Fighters music. And I think we he, we might be seeing a Sheik switch. <laughs> no, wonder, you, you're I gonna go. Why. You're gonna go Pithra, and you're gonna have the Spirit of Sheik. Okay. Uh, you know, helping out. Sorry, Devin, I have to leave you. Have a good one, John. Good luck in your match. I'm going 0-2. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. Game three, uh, VV versus Pret. Game one was Samus versus Sheik, where Pret was able to take it out, uh, take the win, and then this matchup for game two, VV won, and here we are. Counterpick being uh, Small Battlefield after VV's bans with Battlefield and Smashville. So let's see. Uh, Pret going to be taking a small lead here. It's really just about like the win condition, and that is getting kills. That's the hardest part of Smash. And so now Pret racked up the damage. Decent amount. Still kind of like low-ish, especially for like the strength that Mithra has. And, you know, when you're fighting literal explosions. Oh, my. Bro. Okay. So the pullback from the forward Smash, dodging the dash attack. And now VV act going to be taking stock one. Hilarious. Now, Pret was doing a really good job of just like kind of controlling the space, but Vivi just reading the movement, just saying like, you're going to do this, and I'm going to move two inches backwards, and you will whiff, and I will kill you for it. So now we're in a very good situation for Vivi uh, if they're able to get a little bit more percentage, you know? But at the very least, for Pret, you know, not too tall of an order to try and get this kill. Uh, before taking a damage, and just like that, does exactly that. So now we have a two-stock match, uh, but now Pret on on the back foot here, taking way too much damage, doesn't understand uh, or not comprehending like the the range that Vivi is controlling with uh, the the zap. I don't know what it's called. Uh, but yeah, Pret kind of just like lost that entire stock by just getting stuffed from across the stage. And uh, yeah, so now this is this is gonna be really hard. We have an advantageous position here with an edge guard. Almost loses it, but is able to get it back. And let's just see what happens. Don't touch, don't touch hero when he's in shield. He's just gonna just gonna hit you with the wind. And now running around with the accelerado. This is a like this is a very classic situation when like when you're in a stock lead, it's just like I'm going to just go for when I know things are safe, get the hits. But I mean, Vivi's actually getting a little bit more. Um, what what would be the word? Uh, adventurous with the hits, just saying like, oh yeah, I'll just run back. In. Wow. Yeah, uh, just doing like jump backwards into uh, jump backwards into. Oh, oh, that was a yeah. There we go. Go backwards uh, the neutral B or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, that's going to be uh, VV versus Pret. VV going to be taking it 2-1. Uh, only game losing as Samus. 1-2-0 as uh, Hero. Next match is going to be Zane versus Caleb. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, it is Xeno237. Apparently, today was actually our 100th uh, Ultimate Weekly, which is actually pretty funny. But yeah, uh, so like I said, next match is going to be Zane versus Caleb. So probably Roy versus Pac-Man. Curious how this is going to go down. 